There are things, the grand door, of which is very difficult to realize until you find out how they actually work. In this video, we're about to show you the most incredible engines created by mankind. We're going to cover the massive achievements of civilization, capable of moving planes, ships, and rockets. Without further ado, let's get into it. You've probably seen in person or on some videos these giant cars that look more like transformers. When they're on the move, not much space is left for other cars. Thus, the poor vehicles have to press against the side of the road so as not to disappear into history. As a matter of fact, such goliaths are used in heavy metallurgy in order to extract various minerals. And have you ever wondered what must be inside the structure that makes it go? Have a look at the monster embedded there which by itself would pass for a typical car. This is an engine with a horrific name, Caterpillar C17520. Having more than 5,600 horsepower, it weighs almost 24 tons. If you decide to run Caterpillar as a generator, then one such beast could provide electricity to 3,500 average American homes. Leave the trucks for the boys though. Real men play with trains, especially if they're being driven by a locomotive engine named Big Boy. And although we now live in an era when electric trains came to the fore, this giant still can be seen on American railways. The Big Boy 4014 is a coal-powered mammoth that leaves an epic plume of steam in its wake while operating. Just imagine, this model was designed more than 100 years ago, though it still remains relevant to this day. Big Boy develops a speed of up to 110 kilometers an hour. According to various data, the weight of this contraption varies from 500 to 650 tons, it's like three great sphinxes. Needless to say, why these rarities are not used to transport goods or passengers, in 2019, all but two big boys were written off. The remaining trains eventually got restored and are now serving as working exhibits at the Union Pacific Museum located in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Big Boy became a symbol of human progress in the 20th century. However, the 21st century brought us much more wonders. Thus, we need to move from the railway to the sea and get acquainted with giant wind turbines named My se 16242 This technological construct can power literally anything you want. If the power of Big Boy is 6,000 horsepower, then in the case of My se this figure exceeds 25,000 horsepower. Notice the difference. The scale of the concept is no less impressive, with the turbine's height being almost three times the size of the Statue of Liberty. One such contraption can generate 80,000 megawatts of electricity, enough to power more than 20,000 homes. Nobody will be surprised if wind turbines, a source of alternative energy, may soon begin to supplant other, less ecological electricity sources. The first such model, by the way, was installed in the Netherlands in 2021. If you thought we were done, then we are not. It's time to tell you about a gadget four times more powerful than the aforementioned turbine. Get ready, because even the name of this thing is not for the faint of heart. Meet the Wartzilla Solzer RTA-96C, one of the largest diesel engines in the world primarily used on ships. With the height being approximately the size of a 10-story building, the model provided up to 108,000 horsepower, allowing ships to move at a great speed. The Wartzilla Solzer RTA-96C is a complex technical device many modern large ships could not function without. Simply put, this creation plays a vital role in maritime transportation and the global economy. Such a technological miracle is capable of moving a ship with 16,000 loaded containers on board. A ship with a similar construct could theoretically carry more than 100 Saturn V rockets. These are the vehicles the US government launched into space in order to land a man on the moon, equipped with an engine that still stands as the most powerful rocket engine in history, despite being built back in 1957. It's called Rocketdyne F1. Rocketdyne was capable of providing a thrust of 7.5 million newtons. We have no idea how to adequately explain how powerful this beast is, so let's use elephants for example. Believe it or not, but the mentioned power would allow lifting 167 adult elephants into the air at once. They would definitely not like it though. Alright, we've talked a little bit about rockets and their powerful engines, but have you ever wondered how rockets land on places where they're launched from? As you know, they're not just picked right at the launch site. In reality, rockets are brought to the spaceports in the gigantic strange machines you see on the screen. The name of this one is Crawler Transporter, and they're used by NASA to deliver rockets and other heavy and large stuff to their destination. They're 40 meters long, 35 meters wide, and 6 meters high. Sure, speed is not the strong point of this supercar, 
the transporter can accelerate up to a maximum of 1.6 kilometers an hour. Therefore, the fact of this miracle of technology being among mankind's greatest creations will hardly surprise you. While covering the topic of not only engines, but also details attached to them, we'd like to introduce you to some unique designs. To begin with, let's come back to more earthly matters. In the USA, there is a car called Willie's Jeep. In the last century, these means of transportation were widely used in military affairs. And although these cars are quite interesting to observe, they should not have been included in this video. If not for one reason, but check out a unique Willie's Jeep replica owned by Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan al Nayan. This monster is three meters high and weighs more than three tons. Of course, you won't get to ride in the vehicle in many places, so the Sheik just keeps his unique specimen as an accessory. However, Hamad is mostly known for being a famous collector of rare cars, including special units such as a Rolls Royce Phantom V limousine and a Bugatti Veyron. You've probably seen airships more than once, despite this type of air traveling becoming not very common in usage. Nevertheless, a very interesting concept is being developed in the UK. We're talking about the Airlander 10, not just an airship, but rather a mixture of an airship and an airplane. The first thing that attracts attention in this creation lies in its futuristic design, which is really captivating to look at. But Airlander 10 can boast of not only the design taken from the future, the airship has the function of unmanned control. That's right, no crew is needed anymore. Moreover, due to the low level of fuel consumption, the whole thing can stay up in the air for up to five days. Versatility is yet another feature that highlights the Airlander 10. Used for cargo transportation, research, tourism, and assistance in emergency situations, this technological wonder can board 48 people inside. The airship is the world's largest aircraft with 92 meters of length. That's about the size of a football field. Honestly, would you want to go for a ride on this behemoth of an aircraft? We've already made sure that people can build literally anything. And at last, we are to show you the Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. This giant structure, which resembles a horizontal Eiffel Tower, is actually a 502 meter long excavator. The F60 was created solely for coal mining in large mines in East Germany. With its help, coal could be brought from a depth of more than 60 meters. Then it got transferred to nearby conveyors and sent to factories and other destinations. But now this Goliath serves only as a tourist attraction because it became obsolete as soon as the need for coal decreased in the 90s of the last century. However, the F-60's legacy has been even more impressive to history books. A more advanced version of this construct is called the Bucket Wheel Excavator and has the following appearance. Designed to extract minerals, also knowing how to move from place to place, it reaches up to 200 meters in length depending on modifications. Bucket Wheel Excavator seems more like some kind of post-apocalyptic structure controlled by an evil mastermind. Some may assume this machine to be more suitable for fighting alien invaders than for digging holes. But it looks cool nevertheless. Folks, be sure to give us a like so that you can ride this beast sometime and to support the channel. Besides, you can share which vehicle made the biggest impression on you. And of course, check out our other recommended videos from our channel. Bye.